Hi, this is Christy with Twisted Twine Woodworking. Today we're going to build this tool tote. My godson was about to turn two years old, so I figured it was about time that he had a, a toolbox, or I guess like a toy tote, made out of barn wood from the family farm, of course. I used quarter inch plywood for the floor of the tote, so I needed to add dados or a channel, really, for the plywood to slide into. I um, ran a couple shallow depth passes on the table saw into the side pieces of the tote. In order to pull everything together, I used three quarter inch oak pieces that uh, kind of served as a skeleton, but it also gave the leather something to attach to on the sides. Okay, working with old barn lumber can be very crumbly. So we were planning on going, screwing directly in from here into there, but when we did that, it chipped away a lot there. So that's not really stable enough to work like I'd hoped. So these little guys here are going to be used to attach everything to. So a quick dry fit test and then to the glue up. On a side note, I absolutely love these little syringes. I've got a big box of them, and I use them for all kinds of things, from epoxy to, in this case, construction glue, or regular glue, or uh, if I'm gonna dye something. So they're really super handy, and I got a box of them off of eBay, you know, Amazon. I use shellac as my finish um, for all of the wood parts before I put the leather on. In hindsight, this little sponge brush was not really a good idea to apply the finish inside the deep crevices of the barn wood. The spray option would have been much more efficient. Wanted to make sure that I had the handle attached really firmly, so I used a little template to make sure I was putting the screws in in the same location on both sides of the tote. So here it is before adding the leather on the sides. I hadn't really done any research regarding leather when I did this project. I thought all leather was the same, so I just picked some up from the local craft store. But I quickly realized this is definitely not real leather, it's kind of more of a leatherish fabric, but it still worked okay for this project. If you all have watched very many of my videos or followed me on Instagram much, you realize that I am a messy maker. I uh, got this rubber cement pretty much all over everything. It really wasn't the best choice to use, um, but I really just needed something to kind of hold it while I was putting the tacks in. I was running short on time on this project, um, so I actually was still finishing up uh, putting it together after getting to my parents' house for the birthday party that afternoon. So thankfully my mom was there to help uh, hold things in place as I was trying to get everything lined up. After spending entirely too much time on that first tack, I realized that I needed to drive some pilot holes considering this oak is so uh, extremely hard and brittle. One of the tricks that I learned from watching a video of Jimmy Duresta making a similar uh, tote was that in order to hammer the tacks along the length of the tote, you need a support underneath there. So I had a two by four piece and then, which was a little too short. So I added a little extra with the newspaper in this case, just to give us some support as I was hammering the tacks in.
And then to finish up the last side. But I definitely can't forget the support underneath. Much to my surprise and that of my daughters who is doing the recording for this video, I didn't even end up needing stitches after using the straight blade to trim off the excess of the leather. And here is the finished product for the birthday boy.